So now we have to put the two eyepieces in place. And in the eye tubes you'll see that there are a couple of dust blanks. Just re remove those. And the eyepieces fit in just by gravity. There's no mechanism of screwing them in place, but you can see they're a good fit. You can hear the little pop there. Now the distance between the eye tubes has to be set to suit you as the individual and you can see there's a scale there running from 48 to 75 that's in millimeters and measures the distance between the center point of each of the eyepieces so with trial and error move these up and down as you're looking down the microscope and note down your particular position also you'll see that this eye tube will focus independently of the other uh, this is for you to allow differences in the um, focusing of your individual eyes. So you look down this eye tube with the eye over this one closed and then focus the microscope and then close this eye, look down this eye tube and refocus that if necessary so the specimen is in focus for that eye. Okay, next we have to fit the objectives that you will have received onto the turret of the microscope. If you're going to be using whole blood dried analysis, you'll have received a times 2.5 objective. And if you're using dark ground, you'll have received a times 100 all immersion lens that has an inbuilt iris diaphragm. As I turn that neural ring there, that is opening and closing an internal iris in the objective. And these simply need to be put in position on the turret using not uh, no undue pressure, just finger strength. You locate them into position and as you can see just tighten them round until they won't tighten anymore. That's fine. Okay now let's go through some of the controls. The slide simply sits on the stage and you can see that that arm is spring-loaded. So you locate it in the shape and let the arm hold it in place. And then the drop-down coaxial controls here, the top one moves the slide up and down as you can see, and then this one backwards and forwards. And on the stage there are two vernier scales. There's one along here and one along the back just there, so that you can take a map reference of any particular part of a slide that you're on. And if you reset the vernier scales to that reference, put the slide back in, it will be exactly the same point uh, on the slide. 